What is up guys? Welcome back to another exciting WordPress tutorial. My name is Daryl and in this video I'm gonna go ahead and walk you guys through on how to create your own DV child theme or DV layout along with importing all of the demo content and the CSS and all of your pages and all of the menu settings everything that you've done. So in this tutorial I'm actually gonna show you how to take all this right here all of our pages all of our fonts all of our colors and import it all onto this empty website right here with Divi. Now, let me go ahead and just show you how this works. Now guys, this takes about two minutes and then we'll talk more about the plugin and where to get it and all of the features that comes with it. So I'm gonna go over here to my dashboard and I'm gonna go to this plugin right here and go to export demo content. So right here, you can see that we can export the pages, we can export the images, the theme customizer, the CSS, we can import it, I'm sorry, export it as either a child theme or a layout kit, but I actually prefer to do a child theme and we're gonna call this child theme Paddywhack. All right, so the child theme is Paddywhack and now I'm just gonna go ahead and click on export demo content. So we are basically taking all the pages, all the CSS, all the hard work that you've done and now we have created and turned it into our own child theme. So right here, I'm gonna click on this and now you can see that we actually have paddywhack.zip. So we actually have the child theme. Now I'm gonna go over here and I'm simply just gonna import it. It's gonna be really, really fast and easy. So over here, I'm going to go to my appearance and go to themes. And I'm going to go to add new and go to upload. Choose the file. I'm going to go to my downloads and I'm simply going to go ahead and find Paddywhack. All right. So here is the child theme and I'm going to install now. Now, guys, depending on your server, this could take around one to two minutes. Now, I know this works for the... Um, for SiteGround, SiteGround hosting is, it works like a charm. It works really, really easy with it. So now that we've installed the child theme of Paddywhack, right here, we can see Paddywhack. I'm gonna go to Easy Demo Import. Now right here, we can choose to import all of the posts and pages, all the media library, everything else. Make sure to read these notices, guys. I don't wanna be uh, responsible, but this will overwrite your DB current, your like CSS options or whatever else you have. So right here, I'm gonna go to Import Demo Content and now we wait. Now guys, you guys can actually turn this into sort of a career. I know a lot of companies that basically create Divi layouts and Divi child themes and they sell them full time to people who use Divi. So this is actually a really good alternative. If you wanna you know, get out of web design, you can just make you know, Divi layouts because a lot of people out there uh, tend to do that. And I'll talk more about where you can list them, where you can sell them and all that really cool stuff. So running the imports. So media files imported, 56. We have the pages, we have the ID, additional CSS, the menu was imported, import is complete. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this website that was completely empty with nothing on it. All right, I went to visit site and voila. Hey guys, so I made this section because I want to show you all how you can incorporate your own image onto your Divi child theme. So right here, I'm gonna go to my themes and I see how Divi has their own background. I'm gonna show you how you can add your own image or logo or background to your own child theme. So I'm gonna go over here. Now this is the actual child theme that I have actually exported out of my website. So I'm going to double click on this and open this up. Now you see this folder right here? I'm gonna double click on this. Now you see how it says screenshot.png? You will need to actually take your own image and replace it with that one. So right here I have my logo. So I'm going to call this screenshot. And I'm gonna take this, drag it right here, and I'm going to replace it. And as a result, now when someone installs my child theme, they're going to see my logo. Now I actually made a post about this so you guys can learn more about what type of file is accepted. So generally a PNG file, it must be around 1200 pixels by 900. Now you guys actually get options to kind of like explore their help form. So if you guys need help, these guys are extremely helpful. They help me. Like I answered, I asked the question myself, you know, and they, uh, they told me, uh, hey, you know, they answered me really fast. So they asked me actually on the same day. You can see uh, the 31st, I asked it, and it was answered on the 31st. So uh, these guys are amazing. They've had, you know, really good support. So if you guys have questions on something, be sure to check them out. Okay. And voila, now we have this right here. We have the CSS saved. And guys, you guys can also do the recommended plugins as well. So if you want to have certain plugins on your website, you can actually do that. And again, you can see everything is saved. And this is 
beautiful. I mean, this was a great plugin that was created and all the CSS is saved in this. So you don't have to, you know, you don't have to limit yourself by not doing any CSS. And if you don't know CSS, you don't have to, you can still just go ahead and use this without CSS. Now the plugin that I used for this guys was a brand new plugin that came up on Monterey Premiere. The link for this is in the description. So if you guys want to go directly to it and check it out, you guys are more than welcome to. But um, a lot of people recommend to create Divi child themes because when there's an update sometimes, a lot of the times the um, the CSS will get overwritten. So if you guys are big CSS people, you guys probably know that by now. But this plugin will actually save you a lot of time and you guys can go ahead and just export your website and you guys can even start listing it. Now there is a free version and there is a pro version. So the free version will give you the, um, the media image libraries, the, the CSS settings, uh, you can actually do it as a layout kit. But if you guys want to go ahead and do it as an actual child theme, you guys can actually purchase it right here. It's 50 bucks and it might go up in price. I don't know their plans, but as of right now, it just came out. You guys can also expect a little bit of like bugs or something or whatever, but you want to make sure that your, your hosting conditions is like correct. They actually give you a lot of documentation. So PHP 5.6, of course, the newest version of WordPress, and you can be even running an old version of Divi and it will still work. Now this will save you guys a lot of time. Now guys, I personally sell layouts on my website as well, but I'm actually going to use this plugin and turn them all into child themes because I was using um, layouts before, but now I kind of saying, hey, you know what? I want to go ahead and sell my own uh, Divi child themes on other websites where you know people can make money, we make money, everyone makes money, everyone's happy, woo, you know? So uh, also, you know, Monterey Premiere, these guys actually, make a full-time uh, business just by selling Divi child themes. So instead of actually doing web design, you know, you can just give these away or sell them or whatever you want to do. And then people can go ahead and purchase them. Okay. So this is probably one of the best alternatives to creating Divi child themes. It's fast. It's really easy. And it imports all of your demo content uh, really fast. And you guys can, you know, make more than one homepage. You guys can make like, uh, there's no limitations guys on this. You guys can create your own child theme, sell it, give it away, you know, I, I don't know what your goals are for your websites, but you can give it to a friend. But I've just shown you how you can basically take this, this same website right here, all the settings, all the menu, all the hard work and kind of clone it and just put it in. It even has the favicon. So even the favicon is saved. So it creates an exact replica of the website. So um, this is a great way to create Divi child themes, Divi layout kits. And also if you want to make money, you can sell them. You know, if you're a good web designer, if you're up to the challenge, you guys can go ahead and make your own layout. So you guys can put it on those websites, put it on mine, and then we will take it from there. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think about this plugin. When I first saw it, I said, wow, that's pretty incredible. It just came out and it's pretty commendable what these guys have created over at Monterey Premiere. So go ahead and like this video, go ahead and comment and share and tell your mom. All right. I'll see you guys all later. Take care.